Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So we have this challenge with us from bugbountyhunter.com. Amazing website, amazing challenges. And I really like this one because this one is IDORS. I like IDORS, you know me guys, I really like IDORS. So for this specific challenge, first things first, of course, I need to start up a Burp Suite Pro. And in my scope tab, I'm going to use my advanced scope control, really important that I set this properly. And then I'm going to pick any bug bounty hunter dot bug bounty training is the URL in this case. If we look back to the challenge, as you guys can see, bugbountytraining.com is the specific URL that I need. So I'm just going to take that part of the URL and I'm going to enter it in here. That way I'm capturing all of the requests. Now, this challenge, it gives you a username, it gives you a password, and when you first enter it, of course, you come onto a login page. Now, the login page, there are several different things that we can check from there. If we go to our sitemap and our challenges, and here we can see the index, username, blah, blah, blah. As you guys can see in the response, it's going to set specific cookies. It's going to set a user ID here, uh, and it's going to set another cookie here, which is not really known to me right now. So I'm going to keep this cookie in the back of my mind. And a user ID, that seems pretty simple, but this value seems to be encoded. Now, a couple of other things I can see in here. I can see the photo beta.php URL, and I can see the app function.js URL. Now, in the app function.js, that's a JavaScript, you guys know this. I can see a couple of things in here. If I just look at this response real quick, I'm going to read what it says. It's going to add a cookie. It's going to grab a cookie, uh, grab the cookie user identifier. There's a, there seems to be a URL in here, which I have not visited yet from here. So that might be something interesting for later. And then a get cookie function. So this URL seems to be extremely interesting for me. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, of course, put my um, specific user identifier that I have. I'm going to need that for later. I'm going to grab this URL here, and then I'm going to put that user identifier in there. So there we go. Grab my URL, grab my user identifier, and then I'm supposed to see, okay, I'm supposed to see some data. I, I see here user identifier, name, username, email address, is admin. Cool. But since this is encoded, it's going to be pretty hard to figure out what this is and how we can decode it. But don't forget the obvious, guys. This is a really cool challenge. And I love this because if you just try the most obvious thing in here, it doesn't really seem to matter what you enter in here. As you can see, you can enter a normal user identifier as well as a specific encrypted user identifier. Because as you can see, they have encrypted my user identifier, but apparently my user identifier is just one. So if I try one, I also get my data back. So that means that if I try two, I get somebody else's data back in this instance, at least because here it's vulnerable to IDORS. So really cool challenge, pretty short, but I love it. Thank you very, very much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Links will be in the description below and I will see you in the next one. Bye amazing hackers.